Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. <laughs> I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. Of course. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. <laughs> you should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. <laughs> all this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. Cool. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. That's weird. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Bess she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. <laughs> so, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. <laughs> Now all I need is a mailbox. Uh, yeah, that, uh, the thing. The radiator. Okay, locker. Uh, three tin, and the number for it is five one seven. Oh, room key. Awesome. Just want to back out of this game. There we go. Whitford Castle menu. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. funny that you can just like take it like I know why you need it in the game but it's funny that you can just kind of take it sounds like the radiator is broken it doesn't sound good let's get out of there because it's bugging me there we go this is beautiful like this would be so pretty to actually go to. Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? All square. I just need a stamp to send this letter, and then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. Aww. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. Off limits. Aww. Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The pet peeve the of mine. Miss Lane, she's gonna be pretty upset. It's library. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday, and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Oh. Books everywhere, and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. Oh. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Wow, a hole in the wall? What do you That's think they good. were looking for? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. How do you know? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. Uh -oh. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? Sounds like you're swamped, Mr. Egan. Is there any way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. 
Sure would smooth mine. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Okay, so I wrote down get ski boots so I don't forget. Hi, I'm Lisa. <clears throat> Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Mm -hmm. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Yeah, Dexter just told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. Ooh. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. What do you know about Professor Hodgkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hodgkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Uh oh. You said she's a professor. Do you know what she teaches? I'm really not sure. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Do you have a theory about all this? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? I wonder hmm. why he was so antisocial. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? <laughs> well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. I mean, it's a big castle. Rental. This is a big place. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Hello. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Bonjour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? Yeah, what brings a professional skier from France to Wisconsin? Why not Aspen or Lake Tahoe? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. But she's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. Aww. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. Ah, so you came halfway across the world for love. That's a fine excuse. So, When's the wedding? Uh, uh, as soon as possible. That's weird. Why the rush? Do not ask me about the affairs of my heart, Nancy. Or I would think you are trying to steal it. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. Aw, uh, but I like snooping. Thanks for the tip, but I think Dexter and I are going to get along just fine. Get along just fine, you say? <laughs> ah, a woman who knows her own powers of persuasion. Elle est dangereuse, no? What? Ciao! No! Ah, Nancy, como ça va? Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these home boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. That's weird. I need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running errands for Dexter. I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Now I want cocoa. Uh, th five. Five one seven. Five one The combination is five one seven, but it's not working. 
Yuck. Hi, there Nancy. you go. Como se va? Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. I'll talk to you later. Dale, bye bye. Okay, so 311. Try it again. Five. One. Seven. Awesome. Oh, this is her thing. <gasps> uh oh. Wait, she has different. Me, 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 amiga. Wait, she said she could barely pass Spanish in high school. She lied. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so now... I don't know... Where Professor Hotchkiss's uh, room is. I'm not gonna bring it up to her just yet. I'm gonna wait a minute. Did Hotchkiss get her boots? Not yet, Mr. Egan. Hmm. That's a shame. I think there's something <laughs> wrong with my radiator. It hisses and there's a clanging noise too. Could you check it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away. And around here, it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. <laughs> Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. Sorry, not yet. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Okay, now let's take this up here. I think she's off to the right. Just send a tight, yep. Yes, hello. Is that Jacques with my boots? No. Nope. Actually, it's Nancy Drew. But I do have your boots for you. Oh, good. Uh, boots, fine. Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Hmm. Oh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. It's Nancy, and I'm happy to leave the boots. But if you're not too busy, Professor, I'd just like to introduce myself properly and ask you a couple of questions. Questions, yes, yes, and proper introduction sounds lovely, but not now, maybe later. Eh. Fine. You took the boots. <laughs> okay, let's see if he has anything else we need to do. Can I help you? About my radiator, Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Yeah. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement and make sure it's working? Some vacation this is turning into. Well, yeah. Hi there, how's it going? So tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? Well, I was kind of confused. I was just trying to see whose stuff was in there, and I found a bunch of IDs in your bag. They all had your picture and other people's names on them. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. Oh. I'm sure you know what I mean. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. That's weird. Okay, I saw... the thing I have to fix. Right here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, let's hope I did that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so. Did it work? Dang it. <coughs> yeah, but. So, I don't know which one it is. Did it work? Dang it. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. Meh. Maybe I can go ask Jacques and maybe he'll tell me something. I'll take that. Thank you. But, meh. But, I don't know how to do it. Is it just trial and error? Because no one told me anything. And, and I'm just like, you know, turn it off and on and all this stuff, and everybody's like, why are the lights turning on and off? That's funny. I don't get why. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Nothing told me, like... Let me go. Okay, anything else? Yes. I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator. Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. You're okay, welcome. we're really making progress here, kid. We? So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. No okay. problem, boss. Okay. It's one. But, okay. Ugh! Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions! Who is it? It's Nancy again. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But... Tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. Uh, she is kind of annoying. Not kind of, very annoying. Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Okay. <laughs> See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. You know, I love it how in, in all these games, someone's like, Hey, so we have a lot of stuff we have to do. Can you do this, 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 and this? And then, of course... <laughs> of course. Then, then everybody's like, oh, we're making really good progress. And I'm like, no, we're not. It's just me. Idiot. You're not doing anything. You're still behind the desk. Is that my couscous already? Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta. Oh, guess I can't do that yet. 
I, uh, did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Uh, who? Baby back ribs, yes. Now I'm hungry. Oh, chili cheese dog. A fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. I'm not much of a meat eater. Fifty drumsticks. Like... Yep, that makes sense. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay, then. Drumsticks we got. Oops. But I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Hey. Goodbye. He's not there anymore, is he? He's not there, though, is he? Oh, he is. Ah, Nancy. Como se va? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la. What does he think I am? A sous chef. I'll talk to you later. Allez, bye bye. Okay. Let's see if he is away from his desk so we can get into the. So we can check for a key and then get into the library. That'll be cool. Dang it. Did you see I fix your radiator? Okay. Nope. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Nope, I will go check on that now. Is it... Oh, this one. I think. Yep, this one. Nope. Yay, it's fixed. Oh. Oil, I guess? Do I... Do I tell him about it? Can I help you? Okay. See ya, Mr. Okay. Egan. Okay. Bye. Hmm. Hi there, how's it going? What do you know about Jacques Brunet? Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? Nope. He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500 meter slalom but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, but at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. Liar! I'm dying to find a way into that tower. Where do they usually hide the secret entrances in weird old Midwestern mansions? <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Yeah. Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. I wish you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. Okay, so I can't talk to her, can't talk to Dexter. Let me go upstairs. See where this goes. Like, oh, okay, so that's where it is. Dead end. That's weird. That's just weird. Ooh, elevator. It's here. Okay. Go to one. Okay. Just, uh, not gonna work. Can I talk to her? Is that you, Brandy? Oh, I'm glad you're here. 
at the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If oh, I no. leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. What do you need me for, Professor? What I need is some information oh, about the castle. God. Hard numbers. I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. What is the model number on the elevator? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. Model number on the elevator. Where am I going to find that out? Yes, okay. 50964. That's weird. Why would she need to know that? Yes. Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. Glad I wrote it down. Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. You just... Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk, I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Meet me then! Meet... Hodgkiss... in... Lobby, 3 to 6 a.m. Okay, so now I need to go to my room and I guess get it. But that means if I do that, I can also look at his thing. Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's go talk to Professor Hodgkiss, and then we can go sneak into Dexter's desk and see if we can find the library key. Yay.